Bitcoin could be in a lot of trouble if this support right here does not hold. It is looking like it's the last line of defense for the bulls. But the good thing is price does seem oversold at these levels, which is looking very similar to that March 2020 uh, crash or dip that we did have. So if that's the case and Bitcoin does bottom here, uh, right above that $30,000 range, then we could see the bull run continue up towards $100,000. Welcome to the channel. My name is John at Real John Doe on Twitter is where you can find me if you are new to the channel. But if you are subscribed, you probably know me by now and you know what we will be talking about in this Bitcoin update. I'll be giving you the usual Bitcoin trader sentiment right now, uh, support and resistance levels to look out for a little bit of the latest news. And then I'll give you a bullish price target and also a bearish price target. And also even I'll add a buy to dip range uh, which is pretty tight right now though. And for those of you who are familiar with the channel, you do know we like to keep it no hype and give you guys straight facts of what we see on the chart uh, and also the sentiment with the news and everything going around right now. So if that is the type of content you like to see, then make sure you are subscribed to the channel for more content to come. And if you can all take two seconds right now as you're watching this video to just hit that thumbs up button, I really appreciate it because that does help out the channel in the YouTube algorithm. So we can also continue putting out content for you guys. But now it's my turn to continue giving you guys this update on Bitcoin right now. If we do look here on currency.com for the buyers and sellers percentage, Right now, it is showing 82% buyers, 18% sellers, and price is starting to approach that $37,000 support level. Uh, so let's see if that holds on a day or even on the week for a bounce towards that $40,000 level. We got support and resistance. First level of support, we got 34,000, and that is the range for the May lows. After that level, very important support at about $30,000. Uh, that is pretty much the last line of the fence for the bulls and also right around that yearly open range. But towards the upside, if Bitcoin can continue this bounce, then we got to watch right at around $40,000, uh, which is that 200 day moving average resistance level. And then 45,000, which is the 21 day moving average. And then 52,000, which is the 50 day moving average. If we can break each of these levels one by one, then we will see Bitcoin continue up uh, towards all time highs. And for the month of May, a lot of news has happened for Bitcoin. Uh, we are seeing a bounce here on that $40,000 level. There was about $14.2 billion in losses with this huge historic dip that we just had uh, just last week here. Bitcoin did fall about 47%. And data shows here that last week was the biggest loss ever for Bitcoin investors, the realized loss, which made the sell off 185% larger uh, than the March 2020 COVID dump. I think where Bitcoin is at right now in terms of price, 37,000, that is pretty good for the amount of sell pressure that we just had. And a lot of that sell pressure was influenced by China. Uh, China did do a ban on Bitcoin. Uh, they do want to ban retail traders. Hong Kong regulators are set to ban retail Bitcoin trading, suggesting that millionaires and such are will be the only ones that can trade Bitcoin in Hong Kong. Also, like I mentioned, mining is starting to crack down in China right now, which did also come at the perfect time with that huge dip, even when Elon Musk said that Tesla is no longer accepting Bitcoin. But it looks like Elon Musk is getting more involved in mining for Bitcoin because he did form a mining council uh, with Michael Saylor, including a lot of other top uh, North American Bitcoin miners. We also have a friend of the channel here that is also part of this new mining council, Galaxy Digital. You guys know the CEO of Galaxy Digital, Mike Novogratz, which we did have here on an interview on the channel. You can watch that. I had a chat with him right at the beginning of the year uh, where he did give a lot of good insights on what is expected to happen for Bitcoin. So make sure you guys head back to our channel and see that interview. Here's Michael Saylor and Elon Musk tweets said that they did host a meeting with the leading Bitcoin miners from North America, and they are coming to form a council to promote energy usage, transparency, and accelerate sustainability initiatives worldwide for Bitcoin mining. And Elon Musk did back that up also with this tweet here, and that did cause Bitcoin to push up towards $39,000. And even more better news here that came this week, as Bitcoin is starting to recover from that massive sell-off, a billionaire investor, Ray Dalio says that he believes Bitcoin is better to buy than bonds as of right now. In an interview, he did say here, quote, the more we create savings in Bitcoin, the more you might say, I'd rather have Bitcoin than a bond. 
Personally, I'd rather have Bitcoin than a bond. He also added that he is digging into other cryptos. And just today, we got more news that another billionaire, Carl Icahn, may invest up to $1.5 billion in the crypto. But he did note that he will most likely look into getting into Ethereum. But overall, this is bullish news for Bitcoin and all the other cryptos because it shows more and more billionaires are coming on board. So with more and more billionaires coming on board for Bitcoin, is this a great entry price for them? If they did get in on this dip, there was quite a bit of buying volume come in at this level. Like I mentioned earlier, it was one of the highest net loss days uh, for traders this past week to this drop, but also it was one of the biggest dips ever bought for Bitcoin. Uh, sitting right at about 30,000 to 35,000. From that correction from the top at about 65,000, that gave Bitcoin about a 50% correction. Price is sitting right at that 200 day moving average resistance. So the big question is now, do you buy this dip to continue help push momentum towards the upside? Or is the bull run over for Bitcoin? Or even will we get a breakout any day now. Okay, so right now I'm going to show you three scenarios, a bullish, a buy to dip, and a bearish scenario. So a bullish scenario that I'm looking for right now, price is consolidating here. Uh, it found support, it looks like. And for the bulls, this is what I'm looking to happen, is a push towards this $40,000 level, and then we finally reclaim that 200-day moving average. We can most likely see it head back down to test 37000 again. But and then as long as we can continue momentum to push towards that $50,000 level and reclaim that, then we're most likely seeing Bitcoin head up to $60,000. So that gives me three price targets here on the bullish side. First one here at about 40,000. Next one at about 49,000. And then the one after that at about $58,000 testing these yearly highs. And I think if we do test those yearly highs, once again, Bitcoin does have quite a bit of momentum to push. We just had this big flush that brought out a lot of sellers. Then we most likely will see Bitcoin head up to test that all time high level breakout there. And that $75,000 resistance is the later level that I'll be looking at. And as for a buy to dip opportunity with Bitcoin right now, it is at about 37,600. The lowest level that you would look for to buy the dip is roughly at about 35,500. That is where we need price to hold. If we can get a daily close around that level, that is the last level you would look for to buy the dip before price does reverse towards these resistance levels like I mentioned. If we do start trending downwards and make a lower low on the daily close, then that $30,000 level is most likely going to be tested. And I do not want that to happen again, because if it does, then we'll most likely will see that breakthrough and price will head down towards that $25,000 level and possibly even the previous all time high uh, down here at about $20,000. And that brings me to my bearish scenario for Bitcoin. Let's say we do get a rejection of this $40,000 level and head down to test that $32,000 level. Or if we do follow this buy to dip opportunity here, but we do not bounce then most likely we'll see Bitcoin test $30,000 again. As you can see, there has been quite a bit of support and resistance at those levels at the beginning of the year, which also marks the yearly open. So Bitcoin would finally be a negative return for the year. If that happens, then no doubt we are heading down towards 25,000 and we could even see Bitcoin touch that $20,000 level from that previous 2018, 2017 uh, all time high. And the indicator sentiment right now for Bitcoin I would say it is more bullish than bearish. You can see the RSI looking like it did bottom out here, oversold uh, just last week, and it is in an uptrend, making higher lows, hopefully going to reclaim that 50 level soon as Bitcoin also reclaims that 200 day moving average. The MACD, we are supposed to get a bullish crossover now any day, should be right before the end of the week. And if that happens, then as well, that gives us more momentum pushing to the upside. And if you look at that MACD, this is the lowest level it's been for over a year now. So there is quite a bit of momentum to push up. But you can also keep in mind that could also reject at the MACD zero line and could also indicate Bitcoin is in a bear market and price rejecting that next resistance level and heading back down to test that $30,000 support that can possibly break down as well, meaning Bitcoin is in a bear market. So where I'm looking at right now for price on the bearish side, if you are bearish right now, you're gonna look for $30,000. You're gonna want the price to test that level so bears can come in and continue some sell pressure, potentially shake out some more hands. 
and the buy to dip level you're going to want to watch for is right at around 35,000. And then in terms of a breakout, you will want Bitcoin to reclaim that 200 day moving average and a daily close above $40,000. That's all I got for this Bitcoin update. Feel free to leave a comment below and let me know your feedback on this video as usual. Also, what's your sentiment right now on Bitcoin? What are you thinking? Do you think we're gonna break support, head into a bear market, or do you think all that selling pressure is done now and a bull market will continue? I hope to continue seeing you tuned into these videos. I wanna thank you for watching the video all the way through to the end. You can find me on Twitter, as I mentioned, at Real John Doe. I'll see you again next time and good luck with your trades. For more trading videos just like this, please subscribe to our channel. Thank you.